Hello Dragons fans and welcome to our featured Player of the Week segment where we get up close and personal with some of the players. And today we're talking to the man they call G, Gavin Edwards. Gavin, what's up my man and what's the best part about living in Malaysia? Um, just experiencing another culture and just being able to get out of the US and just kind of see the world a little bit. Now Gavin, you played basketball in Europe, in Korea and now you're playing basketball here in Malaysia. What's the difference in terms of the standard between the countries that you played in versus Malaysia and the ABL? Um, I think just, just culture and to, 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 uh, just culture and just difference in like region and stuff. What about on the technical front? Um, I think different different countries are different known for a different style of play. Like uh, a lot of the Asian countries are known for their you know, a little bit more fast pace and getting up and down. And uh, in Europe, it's a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit more technical, a little bit slowed down, and they run more half-court sets and stuff. Now, when did you believe that you could be a professional basketball player or have a professional basketball career as a career? When did you believe that? Um, I'd say probably when I was in college, and uh, after I got there, and I just started to kind of excel a little bit, and I got more and more playing time and more confidence. Uh, I, I started to think that I could definitely be a professional basketball player. Now, if you weren't a professional basketball player, what would you be doing? Um, that's hard to say. Uh, I'd try and find the, whatever I could do to make the most money. So you're a numbers man? Absolutely. That's what it's all about. We understand that you studied sociology at the University of Connecticut. Now, there's no numbers there, big guy. Absolutely not. <laughs> Um, it was, I kind of just had the most interest in uh, sociology when I was there and then um, I figured I could just get my master's in human resource management and get a good corporate job after that. Good corporate job. Now how long do you intend to keep playing basketball? Because you're 25 this year, still very young, but time flies, time flies when you're having fun. So how long do you intend to keep playing ball for? Um, as long as it's fun and as long as I can keep making a decent living out of doing it. As you can? Uh, not, not until my body breaks down, but cut it off a little bit before then. Now, Gavin, let's talk about the West Ports Malaysia Dragons. Not only are they a very athletic bunch, but they're also a very funny bunch. Who's the funniest guy in the team? Uh, I would have to go with Mawala Tautua. Now the man they call Mo. Why is Mo such a funny guy? Give us some examples. He doesn't really have any boundaries. He will do whatever he, whatever it takes to get a laugh. He'll take his shirt off whenever he needs to. Uh, makes things uncomfortable sometimes. But uh, he just does a lot of goofy stuff all the time. He's just goofy. So Mo is the goof man. Now your pre-game ritual. I always notice that you've got earphones in your ears, listening to music. What kind of pre-game stuff do you do? to fire yourself up to have a great game? Uh, I like to listen to slow jams before games. So I don't know if it's because it makes me a little bit calmer and just more relaxed or whatever, but I like to listen to like slower music like R&B and just kind of relax and just get ready for the game. We're just going to ask you a series of questions. Very quick draw, McGraw, Wheel of Fortune style. Answer it very quickly. Favorite basketball player? Uh, Charles Barkley. Favorite basketball shoot? Jordan and Nike. Favorite basketball team? Uh, I'll go with the Suns. Why Phoenix Sun? That's where I grew up. Okay, fair enough. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite food? Uh, Mexican food. Favorite drink? Uh, water. Now, final question. What's your advice to all basketball fans out there who want to live the dream to play basketball for a career? Uh, just hard work, dedication, and uh, as long as you work your hardest and you don't leave any excuses out there, then you can do whatever you want. Thanks very much, my man. Next up, we've got a challenge, so don't go away.